A bang and a pause, combining exclamation marks with other punctuation. Hello, language learners. Today we're going to dive deeper into the world of exclamatory sentences, particularly focusing on how to combine exclamation marks with other punctuation. Remember, the way you punctuate your sentences can dramatically change their tone and meaning. Exclamation marks are primarily used to indicate strong emotion or surprise. For example, we say, what a beautiful sunset, or I can't believe it. In these instances, the exclamation mark serves to show our excitement or shock. Sometimes, you might want to express surprise or strong emotion and ask a question at the same time. In informal writing, it's acceptable to combine an exclamation mark with a question mark, creating a or this is known as an interabang. For instance, he did what? Demonstrates surprise about someone's actions. Remember, though, that this combination is often seen as informal and should be used sparingly in formal writing. When you're quoting someone who is shouting or showing strong emotion, you'll need to use an exclamation mark. If the exclamation is part of the quote, the exclamation mark goes inside the quotation marks. For example, she yelled, stop the car. But if the exclamation is for the whole sentence, it goes outside. Did she really say, stop the car? Exclamation marks and commas are not often seen together. The exclamation mark ends the sentence, making a pause, comma, unnecessary. However, in a series of exclamatory phrases, you might use them. For instance, oh, wow, what a game. That wraps up our exploration of combining exclamation marks with other punctuation. Keep in mind that punctuation helps convey your message as much as the words themselves do, so use them wisely. We hope this video makes your exclamatory sentences more expressive and accurate. Happy learning, and see you in the next one!